Hi Aquarius, how are you guys? Let's do a real quick reading. So just pre-shuffle, it looks like you've got the Seven of Pentacles, which is, you know, time. It's about things taking time to develop and grow, planting firm roots. Um, maybe, this kind of looks like maybe time to heal, taking time, give it time, something about time, giving it time to heal and grow. Um, and we have a, if you just got out of or getting out of a, an unequal relationship where one, you know, it was an unequal giving, one person gave too much, one person took too much. So that could be, uh, you know, talking about giving it time to heal. If not, then, you know, if you're starting something new, make sure you allow time for that to grow slowly, authentically, okay? So that was just pre-shuffle. We'll see. Definitely feel love coming. And I feel business, too. Let's see. Yeah, here we go again. So Knight of Pentacles. Things that come in slowly um, or take time are, are more stable. Sorry, let me just see if I can get that focus. There you go. So taking the time, letting things grow, not rushing. Whether that's healing or connecting. I gotta show you what I just saw. Ace of Pentacles, could be an apology. Um, but it is looks like there's a lot of pain here, but there's also something new. So maybe learning from a past upset, um, making sure the next go around you ensure that there's roots. You know, you don't grow, you don't plant trees or grow, plant roots in, in crappy soil, right? You put it, you nurture it, you can let it, let it, allow it time. We've got a lot of growth energy here with that sun card, okay? And then here we have judgment, using judgment, rising above. So, I feel like something good. And, and you may have something good coming in, but it doesn't, even the best of the best of the best it takes, you know, 200 hours or so, several months to get to really know someone. So you don't want to rush that. You want to have fun. Just kind of have that idea of, you know, we're having fun for now. We'll see how it goes. And, and also think about this. When you go out, when you are on a date or a first date and you're, or you first meet someone, sometimes it's kind of like we get so wrapped up in, will they like me? What are they thinking? I mean, try, I want you to shift that to, do I like them? What, what am I thinking? What do I like about this person? Does this person, someone that I'd want to spend 200 hours with, is this person aligned with my ideas and my values? Okay. Two of pentacles. I just think there's a need to say you're not limited. Okay, you're not limited to someone that you have to give more to. Two of Pentacles. So that's like balancing. This is all about balancing, give and take. Uh, so Aquarius, I think you've given more than, you've kind of somehow got into a um, mindset of maybe having to prove yourself, prove your value, I'm not sure. But there's conflict or competition. Maybe it's because you feel competition. Okay, Ten of Swords. Hmm. High Priestess. Okay, so how others see you and how you see yourself doesn't match. So you're not seeing yourself in, in all your beauty, all your glory. You've maybe been beaten down by something. Ooh, the chariot. Love that. Ace of Swords. Love that too. So something clear is coming. Clarity, the way out, or um, the Ace of Swords is, I mean, this is kind of feeling like apology, but I'm not sure. It doesn't really make a lot of sense with the rest of the story yet, but you've got Ace of Swords, that's truth, clarity, victory after a battle. I think that you've got a strong message here just reminding you that 
you are beautiful and you are valuable and you I think need to shift some energy to what's important to you off of instead of what is important to them so that you're not in a try to you know please them situation not now not everybody some narcissistic tendencies people don't need to do that they need to shift the, the energy onto what do I have to offer rather than what can I take I think that's the opposite here Three of Pentacles. Is it collaborative? Okay, Knight of Swords. Or is it fleeting? Hmm. So, at the, you know, the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Cups. So, leaving, that's walking away, leaving a difficult situation. So, I think that this is just a big fat reminder that if you were just got out of something difficult, the takeaway that you need to get from the difficult situation you're getting out of is really, you know, maybe write it down, but there's a, there's a truth and a clear, clear mindedness that can come from it. And there's some shift of your value. Okay. And maybe there's something where you, um, you know, I think we can set the tone wrong too by overgiving in the beginning. Somebody else has a, has a rating like this right now. So Five of Cups said, how you see yourself and how others see you don't match. So maybe there's some need for self-love, self-care. Okay, giving things time to grow, time to heal, rebirth, judgment, rebirth, second chances. If this is about somebody coming back, then another clear uh, message here to make sure it's collaborative and all, you know, all parties are equally giving. Not uh, off and on, not in and out energy. You can't give. You can, but you shouldn't. You won't be satisfied. You don't want to give, give, give to somebody that's half-assed giving, right? You've got six of wands here. We're gonna we're gonna clarify that chariot, but yeah, take the time, let things grow slowly, stable. Second chance. And this is catching me. This is. Um, it does look like something's ending. Why do we have the judgment? This kind of has like a little bit of a player energy, a player come and go, a return energy. I think we need to shift the focus, Aquarius, from what, yes, look at that, from what someone else wants to what you want. The star card, there you are. What are your hopes and dreams? Maybe you're not clear on them. A lot of people aren't. If you don't know what you want, it's hard to manifest it. Maybe you should write it down. What do you really want? Put some thought into it. That's a starting point. What do I want? And then you can go into what's going to help me get there. What's going to make me feel empowered? Definitely not someone that comes and goes or somebody that doesn't elevate you. You've outgrown that kind of energy. It's kind of like um, unapologetically not having a place in your world for people in situations that are not beneficial. Anything else? I'm going to pull an oracle here for you guys in a minute. Too many. I feel like reading you guys the six. This card was pulling so much energy. I'm going to read that to you. Hang hey, man. Um, let me just see if something else comes out real quick. And then I want to dive a little bit deeper into that. So you're going to take appropriate action. Knight of Wands. Where? Into things that can grow. All right, and energies that are equal. Pretty clear reading. I like it. See, this is the sun, two of cups. That's equal. Two people that give equally. Two people that see eye to eye. Um, let me just 
see this real quick. I'm going to read this to you. The Six of Pentacles. So, establishing balance, an unequal relationship in which one person gives and the other takes. A richly dressed man holds a set of scales in one hand and with the other hand... Okay, this is for this book, this deck. So, we're not going to look at what it says as far as the card or the art on the card. So, it says, this card means charity or an effort to reestablish fairness and equity in an unfair world. In material endeavors, we often get caught up in the effort to acquire as much as possible. The six of coins, we experience pleasures of sharing what we have acquired. The evenly balanced skills show us the importance of balance and fairness in material matters. Do we have too much or too little? Does someone, else, does someone not have enough? The answers to these questions will differ for everyone, but the card encourages us to at least ask the question. So that's what I'm really feeling like you need to ask. It may suggest an unequal relationship in which one person always gives and the other person always takes, while the man seems to be handle, handing... Okay, this is back to the card. Um, it's the, the card that goes with this book is showing an imbalance. So the astrology is Moon and Taurus. So you might have a natural tendency to overgive and not and over put too much emphasis on what the other person wants, what the other person will make them happy. I want to see what this high priestess is about, though. Tell me about the high, oh, that's why the hangman kept coming out. Probably the high priestess is about observing. So. We, you know, be, be hyper. Oh my gosh. This almost came out. I almost took this because I don't remember why. Did it catch my finger or something? It was on the bottom of the deck, but then I didn't. And then it just caught me again. So the high priestess, the high priestess is someone who leans back. She doesn't, she's not aggressive in making things happen. She leans back and she watches. Okay, the empress is someone that allows, she's so full of self-love. She encompasses the, all the qualities of the, their queen. So she, she doesn't, she doesn't have, neither of them, these are the, the this is, I mean, wow. Sorry, I'm tongue-tied. I mean, wow. This combination right here and the fact that this was clarifying this, this is so powerful for, this is what you need to remember is to lean back and observe others' actions and you let, the, high, the empress doesn't have to like, you know, tell people or prove herself. She just exudes beauty and nurturing and love and people flock to her, you know. She doesn't notice the games or she just observes them. She doesn't, it's just, a, this is a powerful, powerful energy here. And let's not forget what else came up. The star. So, wow, look. I freaking love it. So, focus on you, your beauty, get back to who you are. You're going to have somebody, I think, come back. I wanted to see about this chariot also. Wow. The lovers. And look how the colors match. So this is forward motion, right? It's plunging forward. Yeah, it's set seven, six. So what I think this is again saying it came out this way. So I think this is again saying make your moves, you know, carefully, choose wisely who you lunge forward towards. I kind of want an oracle. I mean that might be that might be all we need. That's a pretty darn powerful reading, actually. Can I get an oracle for a quiz? Wow, there you go. Expect powerful change. Oh, okay. So you, you may have if you have Leo in your chart, the Leo reading felt a little similar to this. You might want to go watch that. That would uh, is going to be posted around the same time, but. Um, this is expect powerful change. That's what this is. Okay. With this chariot, expect powerful change and nothing is yet set in stone. So there's still changes. There's still morphing. They're still learning. Um, 
so if you're asking a specific question about a specific person, it's not t t predetermined. It's not, you know, set in stone yet, but things are changing. Love it. Beautiful. Okay. I love you guys. Let's talk in the comments. Let me just peek at this real quick. Expect. That is a new moon eclipse. Well, if you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginners and there are powerful energies at work, but be prepared. It could be quite a ride. Oh, wow. Quite a ride. <laughs> Terrible is my mind. <laughs> oh, man. And events now could bring jar be even be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Wow. Whatever is happening now is happening for a reason. You'll appreciate it later on. A new portal is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right path. There is nothing to fear. So also another meaning is yes, a thousand times yes. Wow, you're being like propelled. This is an important turning point in your life. This is beautiful. I love this reading. Love this reading. So, all right, you guys, I'll see you soon. Let's talk in the comments. Okay, bye Aquarius.